In this brief video, I'll give you an overview of the new capabilities of the free ArcGIS for AutoCAD 365 release. The focus of this release was to integrate ArcGIS feature class fields with AutoCAD text and block attributes to provide a rich feature labeling and more integrated attribute editing experience. This release also introduces ArcGIS Online Premium services for Esri subscription customers. To improve the experience of working with AutoCAD blocks as ArcGIS point features, AutoCAD block attributes that have tag names matching feature class field names will now be coordinated automatically. Any change to either the field value or the block's attribute value will be kept in agreement. The field values will always be updated from the block attribute values and validated against any field domain or range constraints. Points from feature services with matching blocks will also populate any block attributes when drawn from the server. With the new command, Esri Block to Feature Class, I can create ArcGIS Feature Class definitions for each unique block name in my drawing. This command defines field attributes in the resulting feature classes, one for each block attribute, where the tag name of the attribute is used as the field name. And once created, the field values and attribute values will be kept in agreement because of the new automatic block attribute and GIS field matching behavior I just described. The new Esri pick label command links text entity values to GIS fields. I can associate my existing AutoCAD text entity with any ArcGIS features attribute field and use it to control and display that field's value. The command will zoom to each of the selected features to allow me to pick the text I want to control the specific GIS field's value. Once linked, I can edit either the text or the field value and the two are kept in agreement. With the new Esri Relate Text command, I can select any collection of text entities and their values will be kept in agreement, including those already linked to a field value. When established, if I make a change to any of the text entities in the group or edit the field value linked to one of the text entities, all of them are kept in agreement. In combination, the new link text capability and the Esri Relate text command can support some very flexible labeling and field editing workflows. There are a number of elevation tools that have been added to ArcGIS for AutoCAD version 365. A couple of these will require a named user login. However, the Esri Elevate to Field command does not and allows me to change the elevation of features based on any numeric value field. With the new Premium Elevation Analysis tools, I can move entities to the correct elevation based on the World Elevation Service rather than values already defined in the Features Attribute table. However, before I can use the tool, I must enter my Esri Named User credentials to access this Premium Elevation tool. Once logged in, I can run the tool and update my features geometry. Next, I'll use the Esri Add Elevation Properties to add elevation, slope, and aspect data to these parcels. From there, I can use the existing tools of ArcGIS for AutoCAD to select parcels in this case based on these new elevation properties. A number of new AutoList routines have been added to this release. These include AutoList functions to work with the new linked labels and related text behaviors. With them, I've updated the bonus tools to include a new feature labeling experience using the new linked text capability. The updated labeling bonus tool also adds the concept of stored labeling schemes and now honors pre-selected features to control which features are labeled. Please watch the other videos located here for a more in-depth view of each of these new features. And if you haven't already had a chance to work with ArcGIS for AutoCAD or need to update to the new version, you can download it now for free at esri.com.